Zach from Liberty Way Realty, and today I'm here to talk to you about the appraisal. Um, the appraisal is a very important part of the house buying process, and it's something that, uh, well, it's been a problem in this changing environment because if prices increase too fast before the sales around them, the appraisals don't work, and we end up with a mess. So here's the short version. An appraisal is an outside, unaffiliated contractor coming in to determine the value of a home. So what happens is when you have a traditional mortgage, um, they hire an appraiser to come out. You have to pay for them. Don't, don't get me wrong. You're paying for them. Even though they're hiring them, you're paying for it. And they come out and they assess the property. They look at uh, the condition of the property. They look at improvements to the property. They look at um, the location of the property, and then they start looking at um, the areas around it. They say, okay, what houses do we have around here? What houses do we have just like this one? How much did they sell for? So they form what's called a comparative market analysis, and, um, and they, well, we, we form a comparative market analysis. They do the long form of this, we do the shorthand of it. Um, and so what they do is they look at the houses that have sold recently that are located closely and they make adjustments. Oh, this one's got a better bathroom. Oh, this one's got a better kitchen. Oh, this one's got one less bedroom. Oh, this one's got one more bathroom, garage, basement, etc. The age of the house, everything. It goes on and on and on to try to make an estimate of what the house is actually worth. So once they've assigned a value to that house, and this can take a week to be done, once they've assigned a value to the house, some things happen. The easiest solution is you offer 238, they gave you a value of 240, we walk out the door, we're good to go. No problems. But sometimes it can get complicated. What if the appraisal comes in short? Well, the bank is only gonna finance you the amount it's appraised for. So if you put an offer at 238, and the appraisal came in at 230, the bank will only finance 230. That means if you're a 20% down payment on a $230,000 mortgage, you st or on a $238,000 offer, you still need to pay 20% of 230, but the bank is only gonna finance the rest up to 230. Then you have to come to the closing table with an additional 8,000 to cover the gap. Okay, if there's an appraisal gap, that's additional cash you need to bring to the table for it to close. Now, just because an appraisal is short doesn't mean that you have to be committed to that final price. Remember, you have the contingency, you can walk away. But what oftentimes is going to happen is one of three things. Either you're going to say, I'm going to come up with the extra cash and I'm going to get it done. I'm going to negotiate with the buyer, meet somewhere in the middle. I mean, sorry. I'm going to negotiate with the seller, meet somewhere in the middle, or we're going to negotiate with the seller and we're going to bring it down to the appraised value for the sale. So the sale price has to be adjusted. Um, at that point, the seller can walk away if they want to, if you're not willing to come up with the appraisal gap. So some other things happen as well when it comes to the appraisal. Um, if you are a FHA or VA buyer, this is where they do the inspection. They're going to walk in and look at basic safe livability. They're going to say, is there peeling paint, trip hazards, functioning lights and heating? There's going to be a roof and attic inspection, along with some other things that go with it. So basically, uh, an appraisal, appraiser determines the value. Mortgage company will only finance up to the value. And if you want to close without negotiation, you need to make up any appraisal gap that happens. Now, if you are a cash buyer, there is no appraisal, and some mortgage companies will allow the appraisal to be waived if your down payment is over a certain percentage. So talk to your lender and find out what that uh, level is, and maybe you can get the appraisal waived. So if you have any further questions about appraisals, feel free to reach out to me, Zach, at Liberty Way Realty. Um, I, my phone number is at the beginning and the end of this video, as well as in the description. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to work with you. I'd love to find you your dream home. Until then, have a great week. Good luck in your search for a new home. Ready for